We're seeing live pictures coming to you from uh, from central London, Trafalgar Square. The protests have started at 11 o'clock, about an hour or so. These are anti-Trump protests. We've also heard in the last hour or so from Sadiq Khan. He had a bit of a spat between himself and President Trump. He wrote an article over the weekend, um, really criticizing President Trump, saying there shouldn't be, there shouldn't, we shouldn't be rolling out the red carpet. Then Trump uh, hit back. Uh, and this is what Sadiq Khan has told our chief international correspondent, Clarissa Ward. Take a listen. Even in my own country and in America, dare I say it, you've got people whose views I find abhorrent, uh, whose views are uh, the complete opposite of our values in this country, who, you know, see Donald Trump as their champion. I think it's wrong, for example, to defend white supremacists and uh, neo-Nazis and, uh, uh, you know, those who are anti-Semites. I think it's wrong to amplify the tweets from racists in this country as Donald Trump has done so. I think it's wrong, by the way, to separate children from their parents on a border. I think it's wrong to ban people to, from coming to your country because of the faith they belong to. I think it's wrong to roll back the progress that's been made on the reproductive rights of uh, women or LGBT plus rights. Sadiq Khan speaking to CNN. We'll hear today as well from opposition leader Jeremy Corbyn, who will be taking part in those protests, who boycotted the banquet yesterday and will be speaking at the protests. I want to get you to, if you can, if you have time, if you want to chip in, so your comments uh, or your thoughts on this discussion. I'm going to read some of your thoughts. Miguel Batista at risk. I doubt it. Talking about the relationship, there's too much corporate interest propping the special relationship up for it to fail. El Mehdi says it's a, it's a shame to protest the leader of the free world. Lorraine, Britain has common values with the United States, not with Trump. Hi from Tokyo, special question mark, only when it feels special for Trump. And Jackie, I'm horrified that Trump gets this treatment. More power to Sadiq Khan. Ian. Th this is, some of those comments are quite interesting because, of course, if you watch House of Cars, remember Francis Underwood once said, nothing is forever. Mm. And when we talk about the special relationship, that's, that is... In, in, I think, forever. And, and the people who are leading the British government at the moment and will lead the British government, their job is to protect that for the future. Now, Donald Trump isn't going to always be there. Yeah. He, I think, is an aberration in American politics, and I suspect whoever succeeds him will be almost the direct opposite of Donald Trump. Um, but I think you've got British politicians who actually ought to know better today. You've got Sadiq Khan there, Mayor of London, who wrote an article in the Sunday newspaper which d was deliberately designed to insult Donald Trump as far as he possibly could. Mm. And so, hey, what a surprise. Donald Trump replies with his tweets. I mean, he went over the top, but I don't blame him for replying in yeah. many ways. You have Jeremy Corbyn, the leader of Her Majesty's loyal opposition, going to speak just down the road at this demonstration in Parliament Square today. Now, what signal does that send, not just to the President of the United States, but to everyone else in America, about the future relationship between America and Britain mm. if he becomes Prime Minister? Jeremy Corbyn believes that America is at the root of all evil in the world. He is advised by communists. I mean, his chief advisor is known as a Stalinist. Most of the people demonstrating, I would just walk past them in Trafalgar Square, they've all got their Socialist Worker Party placards all handed to them. This is a Trotskyite organisation. These people do not represent ordinary British people. They're far left, uh, and I think we have to call them out for what they are. That's not to say that a lot of normal British people don't particularly like Donald that. Trump. Yeah. I completely get that. But this demonstration is not representative there of the country. There was some, I spoke to the lady that was organising the the baby the Trump blimp uh, early on the show. She said there were women protesting against Donald Trump. There uh, there were some for climate change. So it's varied, very uh, varied protests. There you're seeing some live images. Yeah, but the problem is the the people who are genuinely there for climate change reasons, or perhaps because they think he's a bit vulgar, or whatever yeah. it might be, will be, as Ian rightly says, wrapped into a far more aggressive, hardcore, yeah. okay. extremist position which does not represent Britain. And it's important that CNN viewers around the world know that they don't represent the British view. Uh, and, and that is a worry. But I, I do think it's also right that we have a good tradition in this country where people can protest. Mm. And, and Sadiq Khan's point, um, and, and not that I'm his supporter necessarily, but his point is he sees around the world a 
lurch, if you like, to the far right. That's what he's worried about, and he thinks that anybody uh, who is encouraging that mm -hmm. should be in some way toned down or brought to heel. If he can do anything, he wants to do it. That's why he took the decision he took. He also took it because he's got an election to run. Absolutely. And he is, he is aligning himself with Greens and Liberal Democrats here in London as he fights a London mayoral election. Let me show you some of the newspapers. If we take today's Daily Mail, Stephanie, if possible, the headline there, the winners and stone cold losers, um, if we can bring it up. There you go. You have Corbyn uh, there on your screen, as well as Sadiq Khan, we heard from recently, uh, just in the last few minutes. And then the Daily Express front page. Here's to the end of EU shackles. This, of course, following on from what we heard from President Trump. His tweet from Monday, if we can bring that up, our viewers get a sense of where that's coming from. Uh, he said, London part of the trip is going very well, really well. The Queen and the entire royal family have been fantastic. The relationship with the United Kingdom is very strong. Tremendous crowds of well wishes and people that love our country. I was here, there weren't that tremendous, the crowds. I have to just <laughs> clarify that. Haven't seen, any pro haven't seen any protests yet, but I'm sure the fake news will be working hard to find them. Great love all around. Also, big trade deals possible once UK gets rid of the shackles already starting to talk.